We're just taking delivery of this Behringer AirTouch Mini. Um, and what this is powering is this XR mixer down here. And it's connected to the PC. And it's connected uh, just over regular USB. And then the PC has another USB coming out, which is USB to MIDI going into the mixer. And the idea is to allow me to control the mixer. So if I unmute a channel, Here's my snare. Difficult to get a good angle, but um, let's bring the rest of the drums in. And I can set the level and watch the faders move. That's a pair. I can, I can move my snare. A bit more snare. And over here, if I drop the lead in. All right, the next one I want to drop in is channel nine, but eight channels. Uh oh. Well, I've got a layer two, and you can see it all changes. So now I can unmute that channel, start bringing it up, and there's my bass. I've also got master volume, which is a very nice fader. So I've got A and B, so I've got 16 channels, which is equivalent to the XR16. And then these buttons are assignable as well in A and B. So these, these can go for loading snapshots. So if you're uh, doing a band, you can press OK, or song one, song two, whatever. Or if you're, I mean, ignore the little labels on those are for Mackie control mode, which you're not using. Um, you could also go um, in church, preach, worship, um, guest speaker. So loading snapshots in from the XR's uh, internal, uh, is it snapshots or scenes? I, I forget. Uh, it will tell me around here somewhere. Yeah, so... Um, over here, how have I done that? Well, I've got this program called MIDIOX, which is ancient piece of software, because Windows doesn't really like having multiple USB over MIDI. I mean, it can do it, but it's not keen on it. And this is what I've got here. I've got the X-Touch Mini coming in. I've got the USB interface going out. Um, I can't run X-Touch MIDI and the software that calibrates the um, X-Touch so if I open my X-Touch software up, oh, I've opened the wrong one. I don't usually use Windows. I'm usually using Mac, but at church we use Windows, so that's what I'm using. Um, here's the software, and I've programmed the fader to the CC um, of, you know, the, the uh, where's the main fader? Uh, main fader, there we go. That's on CC31, so that's what I've programmed it as. And then I've got my encoder set up. You have to have a separate patch for each bank, uh, for each of these two layers so these are completely effectively separate and then over here i've got my button configurations um which is another midi cc um so that is demonstrating that you can drive the x touch with this um via a computer i don't like it because i don't like having to run midi ox i feel like a lot of PCs are already overburdened uh, with a USB. USB is serial bus, and yes, there are three different forms of USB, but I'm a little bit, you know, sketchy about doing that. So what I've ordered is is a Kenton MIDI host, which acts as this, but it just means that this will go into the MIDI host, the MIDI host will go into the mixer, so there will be no PC involved in this. And that means that, you know, you can drive the mixer without having the computer connected to it in, in a very basic mode. Yes, you can't set all the fancy Dan stuff. You know, you can't set your compressors, your gates, your routing, anything like that. But for most people, they don't really want to work with this interface. But I can't imagine many people being, you know, even remotely technical who been, would be scared of uh, eight faders, eight buttons or master. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with that. I'm very, very pleased with this unit. I might buy one for my, my studio, actually, but I don't know where I put it in my, <laughs> in my gear rack. But, um, yeah, very, very happy with this piece of kit. And, yes, it is possible to drive an X-Air or a Midas MR um, equivalent through this uh, over USB. I've got this little O-Tracky USB MIDI adapter that goes to two 5-pin DIN plugs. Because the problem with this, all you've got on the side is one uh, mini USB port, which has got to have the power bus and it's got to carry the data. So you can't just plug that into a MIDI uh, USB adapter because how are you going to power it? Well, that's, that's the weakness of all this USB MIDI stuff, uh, really, if you're using, you know, standalone gear with it. So, yeah. Very nice.